Hello guys, welcome back to the video. For those who are new, welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about if the Galaxy A51 is still worth it in 2021. Obviously it's the start of a new year. This thing is officially a year old. And so we're going to kind of go through what's good, what's bad, and is it still a good value phone in this 2021 year. All right, so we're just gonna give a quick rundown of the specs. So first off is clearly the display. As we can see here, very vibrant, very detailed, very crisp. And you have Samsung here, obviously, giving us some of the best displays on the market, if not the best. And they're kind of trickling that down to their more affordable phones. And as you can see, we have a very high quality display here. The 1080p resolution display with the 405 ppi it has a 6.5 inch display with a little hole punch up top can't really see with the wallpaper but there it is and as we can see it has beautiful colors and the slim bezels all across so that's a really nice viewing experience so overall viewing experience is going to be a pleasure whether you're doing social media or just watching YouTube, whatever it is, it's a beautiful display to do it on. Moving on to the build and the design, we do have plastic on this phone and it's not the biggest deal, but you are going to notice that if you, you know, you kind of tap on it, you kind of can tell that it is plastic. As you can see, I'm rocking the new case. If you haven't checked out that video yet, go check it out. It'll be somewhere up here. I love this case, by the way. But anyway, underneath this, it is plastic. And it seems like it's glass at first. But once you start hitting it, you, you can tell it very clearly that it is plastic. And we do have plastic on the side rails all across. But I don't think that's too much of a big deal. It's still a high quality build for the most part. It still feels like you're holding a very nice built phone in your hand. So you do have Gorilla Glass three on the front, although I currently have a screen protector on it, but it is still a very durable glass. As you can see, for the design, it's a very elegant design, and so I'm a big fan of the design. The camera module is just so compact and very tight and put away. And then we have the rest of the phone. We have some Samsung branding at the very bottom. It's a very nice design. The hole punched is not obtrusive at all. It is a beautiful design and I love it. Now, moving on to performance. This is a, an aspect where I believe this phone falls a little short. The performance, it's not always there. It has a great overall performance from day-to-day -day usage. With light usage, honestly, this phone is fantastic. It will get you very good performance, but on average, it's pretty normal performance. It's average for what it is. It does heat up mildly while gaming for long sessions. And it also tends to slow down if you're being really hard on the phone, which honestly, I feel like sometimes we all do. The experience that I've gone through, it does slow down because I am a heavy user. So, you know, take that for what it is. And honestly, for daily activities, YouTube, social media, etc., you're going to be fine. This phone does have excellent performance in that aspect. But if you're going to be using it for a lot of hardcore stuff, just be aware there are some drawbacks. You do have four gigabytes of RAM, so that is a fairly small amount. But with internal storage, you do have 128 gigabytes of internal storage, a lot for all your stuff. It has a lot of space. You just know that I record things on my phone. And so that is why it's taking up a ton of storage and you will not have a problem with storage for the average user. It's going to be more than fine. And moving on to the camera, this is probably one of the most important things in a smartphone. And honestly, this camera does not disappoint. For me, I was pleasantly surprised that a phone of this price range can actually shoot 4K. And in general, the photos look crisp, detailed, and there's so many modes that you can go through. And it's kind of crazy how much you get for what you pay for. 
A lot of people say that Samsung isn't known for their video, and while to some extent that is true, this phone surprised me. Recently, I recorded a music video with this phone. I'm not even kidding, no add-ons, absolutely nothing. Just this phone, and that was it. I recorded a music video, and there was some people who were saying if that music video was recorded on a professional camera. Which is insane to think about, like, how could someone mistake it unless it was that good? And that's kind of my thought on the camera. It's such a good camera, plus you have the pro mode, you have the live focus for all your portrait shots. Also, you will be getting better video with the, flag with the flagship, obviously, but for what this phone costs, you get a lot, and that is just something I can't get over. You have 4K video recording, you have night mode, obviously you can go to 1080p recording, and you have more options here, macro, panorama, food, slow motion, and all of these different things. So it's crazy to have this at such an affordable price tag, and it just provides a lot of flexibility. So the first one at the top that you see right here, that is a depth sensing lens, so for your portrait shots, for this one is your main primary sensor, the 48 megapixel camera. This one is that ultra wide lens for your ultra wide shots. And this is the macro lens for which you'll be using for up close shots. And now you know what the cameras are. If you wanna go see picture samples, I have another video up already, the A51 full review. You guys can check that one out. It has samples. All right, now moving into the battery department, for the average consumer, it's gonna be perfectly fine. More than adequate, really. It's a great battery life. But if you're a heavy, heavy user like I am, I tend to abuse my phone more than the average person. So that's something to keep in mind when listening to this. But battery life is actually pretty good. You are going to get six to seven hours of screen on time with low to, to medium usage. Now, if you go a little bit into the highs, you will be getting five hours-ish, six hours of screen on time just because you're abusing the phone, which is something I do frequently. You will have good battery life. And even if you need to charge up, you have a 15 watt fast charger in the box. So even if you run out of juice, you can plug it in, wait there for 15, maybe even 20, 30 minutes. And then by the time you unplug it, you'll have enough juice to get you through the rest of the day. And if you don't have a charger on you, you have a bunch of power modes. Also, you can use this one. You can toggle this one on. And whenever you're not using the phone as much as you, know, you normally would, it'll kick in that power saving mode. So that way it saves battery and it's really smart. It's really cool. I love this feature. All right, so now we, here we are at the conclusion of this. So where does this land? This phone is a great buy. It is a year old, and so far there really is no news about the A52. I've heard that it's coming out, some uh, specs, but nothing enough for me to confirm. And so the A51 5G right now is kind of like the better version of this phone in a way. Just in the sense of processing speed, it probably is a little bit of a jump up. Um, personally, I would recommend this phone. This phone is a spectacular phone. At this kind of budget range, we see a lot of competition for sure. That is something that's inevitable across all price ranges. But this phone, pound per pound, in every single aspect of this phone, it provides a lot of value. And so it's well balanced and well rounded. This phone tries to cover all of those bases and giving you plenty of features in all of them to give you that well-rounded device and feeling and experience that you can't really get unless you go with the A72. To be completely honest, this is the well-rounded device to get. The A52 is coming out soon. I don't know when, there is no confirmed date, but I do know that it is coming. Like every phone, you are going to have predecessors and you're going to have successors. If you are wanting to get this device, honestly, I would get it. I mean, I would buy this phone all over again. It was a great phone to
to have and it still is. That's why I love this phone. This phone does not look outdated by any meaning of the word. That's my conclusion. This phone is fantastic. You guys have any questions? If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments and I'll get to you. But as of now, I do recommend this phone. I will put the link in the description. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.